Well, as the country pushed for formalization of small-scale mining sector as a solution for the environmentally destructive illegal mining, industry players have been urged to embrace use of the right mining technology to also enable small-scale miners to still maximize their yield without polluting the environment. Speaking to City Business News at the National Consultative Dialogue on Small-Scale Mining, uh, the Chief Executive of Commodity Monitor, Stephen Yeboah, who is championing the use of green mining equipment, said failure to get small-scale miners to use the right technology will not yield the expected results even after formalization. The key recommendations captured in the communique issued after the two-day national consultative dialogue on small-scale mining is the push towards full formalization and enforcement of mining regulations. However, the lack of appropriate technology for processing gold is seen to be part of the reasons for the indiscriminate mining that hurts the environment. Emphasizing the availability of appropriate mining technology for small-scale miners, the chief executive of Commodity Monitor whose new mining processing equipment for small-scale miners was inspected by the president at the dialogue, said appropriate technology must complement formalization and law enforcement to improve their gold extraction without endangering the environment. So the formalization of small-scale mining sector is critical and it's, it's important that dialogue has actually you know, focused on this aspect of, of, of the sector. What we can do, you know, what we are bringing on board is that the use of technology underpins the whole argument of formalization of the small-scale mining sector. So we think that we need a new form of technology. The current practice inefficiently is destroying our environment and then, you know, and then polluting you know, the, the, the resources that we have. So we think our technology offers the important vehicle to the formalization of the sector. And then the three goals that we want to achieve is first, miners are able to operate without any chemical and they will, they will actually increase their recovery. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Mines, Professor Richard Kwesi Amankwa, who earlier espoused the importance of formalization at a consultative dialogue, also agreed that there is the need for technology to support the formalization. Um, certainly at this time, I think technology is a major part of the formalization process. Um, we all agree that small-scale mining has moved from the rudimentary level and now there's a high level of mechanization. So higher technology like in processing, in mining, in prospecting um, happen to be very necessary. And also in tailings disposal. Even sometimes small-scale miners go along with them. This handheld XRF that they call the metal detector. In a typical mining zone, the metal detector can pick metal virtually everywhere. But that doesn't mean that that place is mineralized enough for extraction. And small-scale miners sometimes do that and destroy wild tracts of the uh, land. But a little bit of um, auger drilling, a little bit of uh, fire assaying would help us to demarcate and delineate the ore body. So technology is the key at this time. Let's push it. The General Secretary of the Ghana National Association of Small-Scale Miners, Godwin Ama, said... Technology has the potential to increase ASM's productivity, although high cost remains a concern. Technology is very important because one, you are able to do things faster, you reduce time, you'll be able to maximize your revenue, and also be able to do things in terms of being good steward in environmental management. So that is very important. But it also comes within the small scale sector at a cost. How much is it going to uh, 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 cost? So that at the end of the day, the small scale miner will be able to buy and apply that technology to optimize its operation and also make sure that the environment is also intact. 